Good morning, YouTube. Pastor David here. Very important video today. I want you to come expecting. This video is on healing. I want you to come expecting a healing in your life today. Whether it be an emotional healing, emotional pain and suffering and scarring, uh, issues with uh, holding grudges, forgiving someone, physical pain and disease of the body, cancer, tumors, uh, whatever physical health problems you have, emotional or health. I want to make sure you see your doctor regularly, have regular checkups and follow what the doctor tells you. Our Heavenly Father works with modern medicine today and the doctors. When the time comes that we do, our body tells us when something's wrong. It tells us. And I truly believe that our Heavenly Father works with the doctors today. But I have good news for you. It was never, 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 and Bible Scripture proves it over and over again, God's desire for you to have sickness and disease was never His intent. I have more good news for you. When Jesus died on the cross, Sickness and disease was crucified with him. That's right. You are not just forgiven of your sins. He didn't take the sins of the world with him to the cross. Alone, he took sickness and disease. You don't have to suffer. Our mind, our thoughts are very, very powerful. This is so important because our thoughts are very, very powerful. Our Heavenly Father never wanted you to have disease and sickness in your life. On the other hand, Satan does. We have good thoughts. We, we have wonderful, wonderful, pleasing, pleasant, uh, joyous thoughts. Then on the other hand, we can have very bad thoughts, very negative thoughts, very evil thoughts. And it's a spiritual battle between good and evil. And we know Satan wants to come in and he wants to bring you down. He wants you to be sick. He wants you to be in a state of depression, anxiety. Knows that that breaks down the immune system. Causes physical ailments of the body. Disease enters in. But it is not. It is not the Heavenly Father's desire for you. Let me take you to scripture. Very first one is very important. A lot of times we have the thought process that we're going to be sick. We're not sick yet, but we're looking. We're looking for sickness everywhere. We're checking our arms, our legs for lumps. Um, we just got this urge, this feeling to know anytime now I'm going to be sick. And I want you to know that is Satan uh, doing his work on you. And don't allow that because thoughts are very powerful. You may get exactly what you are looking for that you don't want. So you have to, you have to loosen the stronghold and do not let Satan in through your thought process. All right, um, I want to prove to you, and I've been praying all day yesterday. I got a lot of prayer requests uh, for healing, uh, emotionally, physical pain, and I want you to know the Holy Spirit, um, there's an issue with uh, the wrist uh, below the index finger, and I, I feel the Holy Spirit working there. I feel the Holy Spirit uh, working in that area, and along with uh, problem sleeping, uh, the mind is always racing. I feel the Holy Spirit moving there. And with, a, and with this person's child, the migraines, I feel the Holy Spirit working there. And I also feel um, the Holy Spirit was working with, uh, in, with, the, with the stomach area and, and uh, being nauseated. I feel good things there, an entire family, uh, to this uh, entire prayer for this family. There's a friend of the family involved and dear friend. Beloved, I want you to continue to talk to this friend. 
and talk to them about the love of God. And if they are a friend, they'll listen. If they're just an acquaintance of the family, they won't. They have to come to the Heavenly Father. He's not going to force them to come to Him and let go of the stronghold. Uh, a problem with um, feeling like uh, all hope is lost. A problem uh, too big to handle. Um, nowhere to turn. A problem with the marriage. Uh, I feel a lot of guilt here. I feel the Holy Spirit is working in this area. But you have to have faith. And you have to believe. You have to have faith and you have to believe. A lot of prayers yesterday. Now this is very important. Everyone pay attention please. I'm going to show you scripture where it proves in the Old Testament that God does not want you to have sickness and disease in your body. In the New Testament that Jesus, it was never his desire for you to be sick. To not, he doesn't want you to have disease. He doesn't want you to have emotional pain and suffering physical pain and tumors and cancers and disease. But this is very important. From the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6, my people are destroyed by lack of knowledge. And I want you to take heed to what our Heavenly Father is saying here. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. The lack of knowledge being an understanding but he does not intend for you to live a life of sickness and depression and worry and fear. Fear, worry, depression, anxiety is how Satan works. And through fear and depression, the body's immune system just breaks down. It tears down. And this opens the door for disease and sickness to enter in. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You'll find all the knowledge you need in the scriptures, in the books of the gospel. Let me take you real close, real uh, quick rather, to um, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24. Jesus bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness. By whose stripes you were healed. By whose stripes you were healed, friends. Isaiah, um, chapter 53, verse 5. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. By his stripes we are healed. Matthew chapter 8 verse 17 he himself took our infirmities and bore our sickness you have to come expecting you have to come believing you have to have faith in God that you will be healed you have to put your faith if it's as small as a tiny mustard seed you have to have faith that you will be healed God does not want you to be depressed and to feel anxiety. That's what the devil wants. That's how he gets in and does his damage on us all. We have to let go of the material world. Let go of man's way and turn your eyes to your Heavenly Father. Let me give you some more scripture, if I may. Isaiah Chapter 58, verse 8. Your light shall break forth like the morning. Your healing shall spring forth and speedily. And your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Psalms 147, verse 3. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Scripture upon scripture upon scripture. I could go on for longer than this video would allow. 
Matthew 8, 13. Go your way, and as you have believed, so let it be done for you. I want you to believe today. I want you to believe in the healing. I prayed for a lot of people yesterday, and I feel the Holy Spirit is moving. And I want everyone to uh, join me in prayer and agreement. This day, if you're suffering, if you have pain, physical pain, uh, physical disease, if you have emotional pain, if you're really, really worried, really stressed about something, you have to let it go. You have to let it go. And put your faith in your Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we just give you all the glory and all the praise, Father God. I ask for everyone that is watching this video today that are suffering in some way, whether it be emotional suffering, pain, worry, doubt, stress, or physical pain of the body, disease, and sickness. I ask that they feel the presence of the Holy Spirit move this day. That I ask that the Holy Spirit work this day. I ask if it be your will that be, they be set free of the stronghold of disease and sickness, emotional pain and suffering. We know, Father God, we know that disease and sickness was crucified on the cross. And we know it is your intent for us to be disease-free, sickness-free, free of sickness, free of disease, free of emotional pain, free of heartache. Heavenly Father, I ask for a healing today for all those watching that are suffering. I ask that they feel, that they feel your presence this day over their lives in Jesus precious name amen God bless everybody everybody I hope you came expecting